everybody, it's Olivia Sheldon with Olivia Well. I want you guys to check out a great hip opener today. So what we're going to do is just bring your right leg forward and just bring your left foot a little closer in towards your groin. And then take your right hand and hold on to your shin and just bow that elbow into the knee a little bit further down. So we're going to walk the hands forward and you're going to get a nice little view of my cat. Kitty cats and doggies love to do yoga with us, don't they? So Gizzy's going to hang out. We're going to walk that left hand forward and just let your body bow down. <laughs> Gizzy, are you going to help mama do some yoga? Very nice. So I just want you guys to breathe and take a couple full inhales and exhales. And in through the nose and out through the nose. And then release down maybe a little bit further. And then slowly bring the body up. Beautiful. Now take that right leg and just kick it off to the side because what's better than opening up the hips, twisting into that lower back. So you get the hips and the back combination, perfect combination. Take that right arm and just wrap it around the lower back. Now if you're really flexible, you might be able to get that inner thigh. That's just something maybe you can aim for later. And then bring your left arm in the sky. It doesn't matter where that right arm is. As long as it's wrapped around the back and you're feeling that shoulder opener, we're all set. Left hand's going to reach towards that front shin or foot. If you can get your foot, go for it. Otherwise, most of us are probably holding that shin. Pull away from that point so we're not leaning or sinking into the leg, but we're going to twist and then look over that right shoulder. So get that nice ringing into your lower back. You'll almost feel it going deep, and it's actually going into your kidneys for a nice little rinsing detox. And make sure you're always breathing in these poses. Good. You can enjoy it with the pets or the kids. <laughs> He kind of looks like the rug, doesn't he? <laughs> and then slowly bring the body back up. And we're going to switch and put the left leg in front and have the right foot close in toward the groin. So we're going to hold on to that left shin. Let your elbow splay the knee wide. And then just walk that right hand forward. Now as you extend, try to keep a nice tall, long back so we're never rounding or collapsing. We're extending, really folding from the crease of the hips. Good. And then make sure you're breathing. Take a little bit further. So those outer hips are just going to lead to a nice release into your lower back. Especially if you're just sitting for a long period of time, you definitely want to open up the hips. And we've worked on those before and we'll work on them a lot more because they always get tight and we always need stretches and lots of variations. This is one you're going to have to do sitting down. Others you can do maybe in your chair. Come on up. And then take that left leg extended off to the side. Give me that left arm wrap it around the lower back for a little bite. And then bring your right hand and reach it towards your shin or reach towards your foot. Pull away from that point. Twist and look over your left shoulder. And again, this is just going to release tension from just that spine being compressed and crunched all day long or maybe on a flight or when you've been sitting in the car for hours and hours. Good. The body just likes to move. At the end of the day, the body doesn't like to be still for a long period of time. Good. Bring that body on up nice and slow. Good. And then just bring those legs back to center. Relax your shoulders down and away from the ears so you get a nice tall back here. Just give me one full inhale. Bring the arms to the sky. Energetic lift. And exhale. Bring everything back down. Have a great day. Make it a great day. Namaste.